Howdy, this is Tyler Disney with Integral Group Oakland, and in this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up a duct system so that airflow information travels through all of the pieces, all of the families in the duct systems. Um, a lot of times, you'll start modeling a duct system, and the airflow will go from the air terminal to the VAV box, but then somewhere along the line after that, the ducts stop knowing what their airflow is supposed to be adding up from the air terminals. Uh, this is supposed to work out of the box, but when it doesn't, chances are that it's because the duct connector settings in the families are causing issues. So the point of this video is to understand and explain how these settings work so that you can troubleshoot any system that you come across. Uh, the key points, the key things to understand are that the flow directions of all of the duct, duct connectors need to be correct. The flow types, as defined in the connector, needs to be correct. And the flow needs to be passed from one connector to the other in each family. So we'll get in and explain how all that is. And to do that, we're going to create an example system for supply air system. And that is going to consist of a supply louver. I'll make it a little bigger. This is going to be quick and dirty, dirty modeling today. Uh, we're going to have a supply diffuser on the other side. And we want a VAV box. So we'll grab that. And so air terminal, VAV box, and then we want an air handler in here. And then we'll go uh, out to the, this is like a, like a you know, air inlet louver type of thing, um, just because I wanted that many pieces. And so we could just grab an air handler from somewhere, but I wanted to build the family so that you can see how the duct, duct connectors are made. And if you can make the duct connectors, then you can fix duct connectors in any family that you come across. So go to the big R, new family. Never mind that. Uh, go to mechanical equipment. I'm in uh, Revit 2014 right now, by the way. Um, and again, this is going to be quick and dirty modeling. So make an extrusion, make it rectangular, three foot by six foot. That's fine. And then we're going to make it four foot tall. None of this really matters. Uh, close that. Close that. Close that. So we're in the 3D view. And I'm going to create the two duct connectors, put that face there, make this face here. So the first thing that I uh, am going to do is going to decide you know, which, which end uh, of this air handler these are. So I'm going to say this is the end where the air comes into the air handler uh, from the louver. Uh, and so the flow direction is going to be in. And I'm also going to put that here, in. And I need to set the flow configuration here to pre-set. And on this one, this guy is going to be uh, flow configuration calculated. And he's going to be out, out. And I'm going to type that right there. Right there. Um, and now, so these are uh, what, what this means, calculated and preset. Uh, so this is where the duct coming from the air terminal and from the VAV box are going to be coming from. And so the duct coming into this connector is going to know what CFM it is as set in the air terminal. So calculated means it's going to calculate what the flow is based on the duct connector that's coming into it. And pre preset means that the flow is, is set somewhere else due to some parameter. And so you're like, OK, well, what parameter is setting that? Uh, well, what we need to do is we need to pass the flow information that's coming into this duct connector from the duct. And we need to somehow pass that value to this connector. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the flow here. We're going to click this little button. And we're going to create a parameter, and we're going to call it airflow. It's going to be an instance type, and, and that's fine. 
So now the flow for this guy is set to airflow. So the flow is being calculated and it's being passed to this parameter. And then we come to this parameter, which is preset. So it's getting its value from a parameter. And we're going to set that to come from this guy, airflow. So that's what we need to do. Um, and, and it's done. It, you know, if you want to uh, change the dimensions of these, you can do that. Um, but again, quick and dirty. Don't want to waste your time. So we're just going to say, we're going to save it so we can give it a name. And we're going to call it HU. Uh, we're going to call it HU uh, better. And then we're going to load it into the project. Yes, it's the one we want to load it in. OK. And I'm going to close the family editor, go back to our floor plan, and put the AHU in. OK. So here we go. I'm just going to tighten these up a little bit. A little smaller. And now the first thing to do before you go anything is check to make sure that all the connectors are pointing the right way. So here's our, our, our louver, right? And this is saying that the duct connector, the direction of flow is out, which is what we want. It's going to be flowing this way. And we click on the air handler. And it's saying out here and in here, which is actually wrong. We want the air to be flowing in this side and then out that side. So we're just going to rotate it by 180 degrees. In, out, in, out, in. Perfect. Our flow directions are correct. Next step is to create the systems, the duct systems, because you never want uh, duct systems to be on unassigned systems. So uh, we're just going to click on the, the first guy, the lowest guy in the hierarchy, say create system duct. It's fine. I'm going to select equipment. I'm going to pick the VAV. Then I'm going to click the VAV, say create a new duct system. I'm going to select its equipment to be air handler. And then I'm going to select the air handler, say create a duct system and its equipment is going to be this guy. So if we go to the system browser and see here are our nested systems. Going down from the diffuser to the VAV box to the HU to the uh, uh, the louver. All right, so that's all good. And uh, you know, if you uh, mouse over one of these and, and tab, it'll tell you what's going on. I'm just going to quickly tag these guys so we don't get confused. So he's an HU. And uh, we're going to set this guy's flow to 155. OK, so we're ready to uh, connect it up with duct. And um, again, this is just going to be really quick and dirty. Uh, I would never actually model anything this sloppily in real life. But I don't want to waste your time. So I'm going to be using lots of flex duct. Okay, so this guy's 155 CFM. This duct knows that it is 155 CFM right there. 
This duct knows it's 155 CFM, all good. This duct knows it's 105, uh, 155 CFM. And this louver is reporting that it's 105, 155 CFM. So we made that work. And again, the key was having all of the flow directions in the correct way, out, in, out, in, out, in, and then having the uh, uh, duct connectors set correctly in the family. In being preset and grabbing the flow from the parameter that we have set here based on the one that's going out. Uh, and if we look in the VAV box family, you can see that it's exactly the same thing. This is the flow coming in. It's preset. It's grabbing the flow information from actual supply airflow parameter. Um, and there's, there's nothing magical about that parameter, by the way. You, you just create it yourself. It's not a shared parameter or anything like that. Just a, a parameter is a means of passing the information through to the other duct connector. Okay, and that, that's, that's pretty much that. Um, you know, if we add more uh, air terminals onto this guy, again, ugly, ugly, ugly ductwork. I think I missed. It's going to update. We change this guy maybe to 122. It's automatically updating. Now, um, this does raise an issue when it comes to the design of systems. You might not want this louver to be reporting uh, this value because things, things can, and uh, you know, in a complicated duct system, if you have open connections and things that are aren't quite right, aren't quite right, uh, this value might not be what you want it to be design-wise. Also. Um, not always do we want this duct, the one coming, the main coming out of the air handler, to be sized for the sum of all of the air terminals coming up. A lot of times, imagine if we had 20 or 30 VAV boxes all in parallel on this, all feeding back to this one air handler. You know, the sum of those air flows, let's say it's 10,000 CFM, but maybe per our design, the air handler isn't designed for 10,000 CFM because we're assuming that diversity. In other words, we're assuming that at no time will all of the spaces be delivering their design airflow at the same time. So maybe our diversity is 80%. So we would want to size the duct for 8,000 CFM instead of 10,000 CFM. That's something you have to take into account um, and sort of be intelligent about. As far as I know, there's no way to tell Revit, you know, take this, you know, oh, this duct is supposed to be at 80% or something like that. There was probably a creative way of tricking it into doing that, but I haven't um, bothered uh, to figure that out. Um, and then also you, you might want this tag to report something that you type in, uh, not something that's calculated. For the louver, and in that case, you want to change your tag to point at a different parameter than the one it's pointing at right now, which is um, airflow, which is being calculated from the duct that's coming into it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any, uh, if you are having problems with airflow flowing correctly through your system, um, make sure that all of the connectors are pointed the right way. Make sure that they're set to what they should be. Uh, preset or calculated and make sure that they are passing flow information from one duct connector to the other on both sides of the family. Uh, I think that's it. I hope that was helpful and thanks a lot. Cheers.